Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will try to explain what is the canon infamous squeak and uh, what not to do with the squeak, what to do with the squeak and overall what causes the squeak. So this is my uh, beautiful canon A1 that I received after a uh, complete CLA which means uh, C stands for cleaning, L from for lubrication and A for adjustment. So I'm gonna show you how the shutter so should sound like after a complete CLA, after a complete service uh, with the with the mirror governor, which is actually the mirror damper, the mirror brake is what actually causes the the shutter squeal, which is not the shutter squeal. It's actually something different that I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. And firstly, uh, take a listen on how the camera should sound like. Oops, let me take it off program. And on lower shutter speeds. Yeah, you can hear it so how it sounds. This is a nice, healthy A1. Here we have a uh, Canon A1 that is currently being in uh, service. As you can see, I have the mirror box disassembled and pulled off from the camera. Uh, that required me to disassemble at least 40 elements. Uh, which includes soldering and yeah, <laughs> unscrewing different things, uh, taking off the clips, uh, manipulating different things, soldering and pulling this bad boy out, which actually causes the squeak. Because if you look closely, no one actually tells that this is the first thing, uh, no one actually tells you what is the squeak. What causes the squeak? Only few people that I've met know what is the squeak, how to prevent it, and uh, how to service it. Because I will tell you in a few minutes what uh, YouTube tricks tell you to do with the squeak and how this will potentially run your camera. So, uh, you cock the shutter, and let me take a screwdriver. I'll show you how the, how the shutter itself sounds like. And that was the shutter itself. There's no squeak, there's no different weird thing going on. It's nice and quiet. But there we have a mirror box, mirror assembly. And uh, what that actually has is right here. Let me just lock my focus on. All right, how it basically works is that when you charge your mirror box, which is done by moving this thing, and you actually can see there's a there's a pivot on here. Damn, my lighting is so bad. You can see a pivot over right here, and it moves as you cock the shutter. You could see the movement. I think you could see the movement. Uh, so this is how you charge the mirror box, and then it gets released. And you release it by pressing this. Which is actually, I think, the uh, the first magnet shot fires right here. And at the same time, a uh, magnet fires right here, which causes this to pop. And that does the... And that pulls the mirror up. And as it pulls up, the mirror actually inside, this is the mechanism that I'm talking about. Uh, it has a mechanism that makes you let me take a flashlight and, and show you closer 
So actually you can see there's some some sort of gears, some sort of something uh, going on here. And what is that? It's actually the mirror damper. And what that does is that, I don't know if you would be able to see this, but whoops, let me take it off and let me move my camera a bit closer to the light. So as you, as you move the mirror up or down, you can see that this whole assembly is basically connected with a gear by a, by a transmission system. I don't know how to call this. Like I said, my English is not the best. But uh, there's uh, several sprockets that end with another sprocket that has a mirror that has a sorry that has a bearing inside it and the as you know as you as you can think the camera is around 40 year old, 40 year old and the uh, the oil the lubricant inside of the bearing is pretty much dry and how the how the brake works is actually it converts that movement into a uh, rotary movement of the sprockets and eventually it uh, converts the movement into heat and a uh, heat is um, being distributed into air via lubricant or bearings and this is how the mirror stops and as you can hear the, uh, the governor is pretty much dry it never been opened in 40 years so it's pretty much dry and it causes that horrific sound which is the infamous shutter squeal that's not actually the shutter squeal it's the mirror damper uh, being dry and needs just like a screaming for some lubricant <laughs> so uh, this is how it sounds like And uh, how to end the cycle is... Alright, uh, so why is it bad for your camera to squirt an oil, a machining oil, a sewing machine oil into the camera via bottom plate? That is bad because uh, what you actually see when you disassemble the camera and you look down, you look through the camera, through the bottom plate, and you see something, and you see, and you hear someone says, "Yeah, just just dip the oil somewhere inside here." But what you actually do is that you're uh, dipping the oil blindly somewhere over here, praying that it actually drips into the nice spot and and that the camera will will, will work properly and be survived but that's not the case you actually end up with the with the lubricant somewhere over here over here sometimes even over here and that oil just spreads out very quickly across the whole camera which can eventually uh, cause a short circuit or cause a sticky shutter and will eventually the camera will eventually fail sooner or later or in my case which i did once when i first got the camera i actually did uh the the dirty uh quick fix and it helped it helped but i've been fighting with the camera for two weeks to clean off the oil that's been collecting around here as in the viewfinder it was literally everywhere and i was fighting to get rid of it but when i get rid of it the camera was working like hmm, probably for like two months and then the squeak reappeared. So what you actually see uh, on the bottom plate when you look at it, you look at it right here and you see something that you should insert a needle somewhere over here and you actually might end up uh, with, you have to stick it somewhere over here, the needle 
and you might eventually drop a few few drops of oil somewhere over here or over here but never on the bearings inside this damper and uh, how you fix it is you actually wait for the oil to drip down through here to here and eventually eventually on this damper which happens very rarely and uh yeah the oil will get spread it severely over here uh into the viewfinder via here into the mirror box itself you can see someone before me because i actually bought this camera to get repaired uh you can see that the oil is literally spitting out of here and there's also a little mark so someone have been here before oh and you can see over here it has a little mark i don't know if you can see but <laughs> anyway uh yeah that's not the proper way way to, to fix it you should always always when you have the uh the mirror the mirror dampener squeak you should always bring it for a cla to get not only the squeak uh, lubricated but also uh, to get all of these mechanisms lubricated to get the gears on the uh, shutter advanced uh, lubricated to get the shutter advanced to get the shutter adjust and uh, in a few minutes I will try to lubricate it to clean some of the elements inside here and I will be back with uh, how it should sound like and this will be the end of the video so see you guys there and now after some lubrication and uh, trolley cleaning this is how it sound like, sounds like very smooth and uh, fast operation of, of the mirror this is how it's supposed to be done don't listen to these youtube tricks they will run your camera these are not good these are not meant to be done that way just don't make it you take your camera for a CLA Take care, take care of your gear. Yeah, well, stick around, guys. <laughs>